Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to create a new industry for our business partners in SAP s hana using GUI. So let's first inspect the business partner via transaction code BP, hit on start, then let's choose one with a double click. Make sure that you are in this role, so business partner general, go to the identification section, scroll down a bit, and over here we are talking about this table. So we will now create a new industry. Therefore, we go to the customizing slash n s p r o sub reference IMG, and then under cross application components, we scroll down a bit up until we can see is our business partner. Select this one, then go to business partner again, organizations, and over here you can see maintain industry systems and industries. Let's click on this one, and over here you can see one industry system is already created. This is the standard industry system. We can create multiple of those industry systems, if needed. And once created, we can choose from those industry systems in our business partner. Let me quickly show this to you. So back in our business partner over here, if I go to the change mode, you can see right now I'm here in the standard industry system. However, I could also choose all industry systems so that I can choose an industry from each of the existing industry systems if needed. They are here displayed in the drop-down menu. Right now you can see there's only one industry system existing in the system. And over here you can see the industry. Let's quickly inspect the search help. And here you can see many industries already existing. And we will now create a new one. Let's go back to the customizing. So we select our industry system. And then we double click here on industry number system industries. You can see all the industries now that were already assigned to this industry system. And we will click on this button, create industry. We will provide an ID, let's just say 14, and then we will say wood, like that. This is just an example. Click on enter. Now hit on save. And that's it. If we now scroll down, you will see our new industry is created. However, this is not it yet for the customizing. We need to conduct other configuration as well. So now let's go back and back again. We will go out of the business partner, navigate up a bit, close the cross application components, and we will go to the financial accounting. Then we will go to accounts receivable and accounts payable, customer accounts, master data, preparation for creating customer master data, define industries, select this button. Also over here, we must create the new industry. This is because our so-called customer vendor integration will synchronize the industry in the business partner with the industry in our customer and vendor master data tables. So the tables, starting with LF or KN. This is why we click here on new entries, industry 14, word, and then hit on save and save. Yeah, and this is basically it. If we go back and back again and out of the customer accounts, but to the supplier accounts, master data, preparation for creating supplier master data, define industries. You can already see the industry from the customer side was copied here because those industries are stored in one and the same table. So far, so good. Now we created both the industry on our business partner side and also on the customer and vendor side. However, last but not least, we must map those industries so that the system knows that when we assign the industry 14 to our business partner, in the background also the industry 14 for our customer and vendor master will be found and filled accordingly. Let's go back. We will go up again, close the financial accounting, and go back to cross application components. This time we will scroll down up until we can see master data synchronization. Click on customer vendor integration, business partner settings, settings for customer integration, field assignment for customer integration, assign attributes. Now scroll down a bit up until you can find assign industries. Select this button. Now over here you can see the standard industry system again. So select it and then go to define outgoing industry mapping. And here you can see the mapping for outgoing industries. We will click on new entries. Then we will choose the industry, which is actually the industry from our customer and vendor master. And then we will assign our newly created industry for the business partner. Then hit on enter. And that's it. We will do the same now for the incoming mapping. Click on new entries and insert 14 and 14 again. Then click on save and save. Now we go back and back again once more and we will also check the vendor side now. So go out of the settings for custom integration, 
go to the settings of end integration, assign attributes, assign industries. You can see it's the same structure if we select the industry and go to define incoming industry mapping and also the outgoing one. You can see that again there is only one table, so we only need to fill it on one side, which is then copied to the other side. This is it for the customizing. Now let's go back into our business partner and see this in action. We will click on start, select our business partner again, and here in the business partner general role, in the identification section, if we scroll down again, we will see that we can assign an industry of our standard industry system, to which we also assigned the new industry 14. So select the search help. And now you can see the industry 14 is being displayed. We can select it, hit on enter, and then also the description was taken over. Last but not least, you can see there is a message, no standard industry stated for the standard industry number system. This is because a best practice is that one of the industries you assign to your business partner must be marked as the standard industry via this indicator over here. And actually it's a best practice to declare one of the industries as a standard industry, even if you only assign one industry to this business partner. This is because the industry marked as a standard industry is the one that will be determined if we use interfaces like BW or APIs. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Also make sure to subscribe to my Patreon, where we have a community chat and where I also upload lots of informative blog posts. The link is in the bio of my channel. Thanks a lot and see you next time.